Hello people, Nuno Nico here. Today we're going to talk about a new catalog I just got in the mail. It's the Intex 1988 toy catalog. Let's take a look. Here on the first two pages, we see their line of pace setters, which is their basic line of cars and trucks. And here to the to the left we see a, a, an example of uh, their display units in the store and an index there at the top. And the top right corner here we see an example of the fast rolling pace setters packaging style for 1988. The second page we see more cars, uh, the dyno wheels and the fast wheels. I had a lot of these cars uh, in future videos. I'll show you a lot of them. I've destroyed them. Me and my brother played with uh, some of our toys very rough. But we had a lot of fun with them. Mini Max is a line of construction toys. Those were really cool. I never had any, but I always wanted some. The Renegades. The Big Rigs. I really enjoyed these Big Rig toys. I had several of these semis. I had that Pennzoil, the yellow truck there, and um, a lot of others that are seen in earlier catalogs. And here, on page 9, we see the Super Dynaflights line. The Super Dynaflights line is a slightly larger version of the original Dynaflights that we've been talking about a lot so far. Uh, the original Dynaflights line is typically a 3.5 inch toy, which, as you can guess, is going to make each aircraft... Uh, a radically different scale model uh, which we're going to talk about in a future video we're going to get involved in a lot of math uh, but these these super dynaflight line toys were four and a half inches uh, with a plastic black plastic wheel that uh, on many of them I think kind of cheapened the look of the toy itself and kind of took some of the detail out of it. And here on page 10 and 11 we see the classic Dynaflights line. I know it's really hard to see into this crease, but the the way that the page was stapled here at the bottom, and as you can see the pages, the front cover is already ripped, makes it really hard to make this this catalog lay flat or it'll just rip right through but anyway this is their Dynaflights line from 1988 and as you see at the top center there they've got a stealth fighter packaged in the typical packaging for 1988 which lasted for more than a year here at the bottom right corner we see the EF-111 aardvark being advertised as a new model and as we look here on this page we don't see the actual die cast toy we'll see it in, in in later catalogs but in this catalog they represented the introduction of this toy through a a much larger scale more detailed plastic model that does not at all represent the actual die cast toy that's going to enter this line next year um, as you'll see in future videos, the paint job is very different than this gray navy model that they chose. On to the next page. Here's their motorcycle line uh, and a four-wheeler and some three-wheelers. Very detailed. Uh, I'm not an expert at motorcycle toys, but I don't remember a line of die-cast motorcycle toys that is as detailed as these. I have a couple of these still in my collection that are wrecked, 
uh, but they're really cool still and I'll show them in a future video. Gas Blasters and the Gripper's Speed Demon. Gripper ATVs, Gripper Flip Cycles. The Power Racers and Roughnecks. <laughs> oh, did I skip a page? Yep, sure did. Jack Rabbits and two Speed Racers. These two, two Speed Racers have uh, really cool models. The Ferraris, I really like the Ferraris. Sprint Bandits and Motobots. And the Motobots are really cool. This is a, a knockoff from the GoBot line, of course, which was a knockoff of the Transformer line. Um, this F-15 jet fighter shown here at the bottom is their only airplane, but if I ever find that someday in really good condition, I'll pick it up. The Le Mans models, the Challengers and the Rebels, a very controversial toy gun line that they ran and eventually dropped for obvious reasons. Here on page 26, we see an example of the packaging style from 1988 for the Flights line. We see the famous fighters five package set and the Spice Sky Spies five package set. Even the Air Express uh, Federal Express set includes the their transport aircraft, which is a very hard airplane to find today. I'm not sure I have that one in my collection, but we'll do a, a video on those in the future, of course. And here on page 28, we see another example of uh, their toy line in the store, on the shelf. Uh, Super Bikes, another enlarged version of, uh, of an original series. Power Cycles, Two Speed Renegades. Race Team Set and Rad Riders ATV Set. Pitbulls and Jackrabbit Set. Power Rigs, Power Transport. These are really cool. I like the semis that carried tractors and boats. And in earlier catalogs, you'll see they had uh, versions with helicopters and airplanes. And here is the end of their catalog where they're showing their inflatable toy line, which when you look at Intex's toy line today, it is predominantly made up of these inflatable toys. And that's it. On the back here, we see a list of their distributors from all over the United States and a little picture at the bottom of the front of the Intex building in Long Beach, California. Thanks for watching, people. Make it a great day.